Why, hello, Internet. My name is Mary Brown, and welcome back to the official FFA YouTube channel for the Electric City. So today we are going to be talking about something that I've mentioned in a previous video, maybe both of them, um, which is degrees for FFA. So one thing that many FFA members strive for is a lot of pins. And one of the pins that goes on your jacket, which I will talk about in another video, um, happens to be your degree pins. So there are five different degrees that you can be awarded in the FFA as a member. So here's what those degrees are and here's how you can receive them in whatever chapter you're in. The first one that you can receive at the youngest age is a discovery degree. So not all chapters have this as an option. However, the Electric City chapter does, and I was one of these discovery members. So these are middle school students who have the opportunity to participate in high school level activities being FFA. So they are called discovery members because they are just starting out FFA and they are just discovering what goes on. They're super fun and we love them. So to get this degree, you must be a discovery member. You have to meet requirements as set by the national organization. To find out if you meet the requirements for this degree, you just have to go to FFA.org and check it out and see if you can qualify. And then it is awarded at the chapter level. So next, if you are a freshman in high school or a new member to FFA, you are considered a green hand. And green hands have an opportunity to do a couple of different competitions that some of other people don't get to do. But in addition to that, they also get a specific degree. This is called your green hand degree, as you could probably guess. So to be awarded this, you must be a green hand currently. It is given at the chapter level, and if you want to find out if you meet the requirements, again, go to FFA.org, and it will handle that for you. Chapter degrees. So chapter degrees are given to people who have already gotten their green hand degree and they're in the chapter. This is one of those degrees that you're going to have for a while throughout the chapter. So you must um, have been a green hand and you have to meet the requirements, again, FFA.org, pointing to you, um, given at the chapter level to people inside of the chapter, obviously, for meeting their requirements. The next highest award that you can have um, after your chapter degree is awarded by the state called your state degree, which just is meeting the requirements, which is just also found on the FFA.org. It's a certain number of community service hours and SAE experience and things like that. It is the highest amount of, um, it is the highest degree that can be bestowed upon a person by the state. So if you have that, that's cool. Um, and you have to have previously gotten your chapter degree. So that's how you can get that. Only the highest degree that can be given to an FFA member is the American degree. So after you've gotten your state degree, you can apply to have an American degree, which means you get to walk across the national stage with a piece of paper and get a really nice pin for your jacket, which is cool. You have to meet the requirements Again, found on FFA.org. You can also find them in your um, FFA handbook, the National Handbook. So I guess if you don't have internet access, not sure how you're watching this video otherwise, but if you don't or it's not working out or you can't find it, that's another place you can look. You have to meet even higher standards and requirements. It's so crazy that the amount of people who receive it is less than 1% of FFA members. And an average of 3,500 people receive this degree every year. So if you get it, that means you are a very rare person in the flock. So good for you. So thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope you liked it. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. If you don't know how to subscribe to videos, which has been brought up to me, that a lot of people want to but don't know how, um, if you have a Gmail, you automatically have a YouTube account set up through that. And if not, get a Gmail. Use it as a work email or something like that. Little tip there, just make it your professional email. 
and then you can like and subscribe this video. Um, again, I am trying to reach 2,000 subscribers, but I'm sort of changing that goal to 2,000 views per video on average. So again, please share this video, please like it, please subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye!